It was New Year's Eve and it was snowing. Starbaum family's home was decorated beautifully with colourful, shimmery ornaments and a big Christmas tree with its flashing lights. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. Clara, the youngest girl in the family, went to the door and opened it with joy. With his arms full of presents, in came Uncle Drosselmeyer. When Clara saw her favourite uncle with all these presents, she was very excited. Clara had no patience whatsoever to wait until midnight. She wanted to have her present that moment. Uncle Drosselmeyer could not let Clara down, and so he gave her present. Very excited, Clara opened her present. This was the most interesting present she ever had got. Her uncle's present was a funny-faced nutcracker with a red nose and a thin moustache. Clara never had a toy like this before. She really loved this toy nutcracker. She started playing with it and she even danced. Clara's naughty brother Fritz, on the other hand, did not like his present and so he threw it away. He liked Clara's nutcracker more, so he tried to take it from her. I want this! No, Fritz, this is mine! At last, he managed to take the nutcracker from Clara's hand and went upstairs. Hey, Fritz! Hurry up and give my toy back! You go and play with your own toy! I never liked that mouse. This should be mine. Fritz, please don't! Give back my nutcracker! Here you are! <laughs> and what does Clara see as she approaches to get the nutcracker? The arm of the toy was broken right there on the ground. Clara got very upset and began to cry. <laughs> Don't worry, Clara. I'll fix that for you. It was past midnight. The New Year's celebrations were over. And just like all the other kids, Clara was tired. And so she lied down. But she couldn't stop thinking about her nutcracker toy. I hope Uncle was able to fix the nutcracker. With all the overwhelming curiosity, Clara jumped out of bed. And with one hope, she entered the living room. And there it was, the nutcracker in one piece sitting under the Christmas tree. Clara was so happy, she hugged the nutcracker. And in peace, she fell asleep. Not long after, in her sleep, Clara heard some funny noises. And slowly, as she opened her eyes, she thought she was dreaming and she drifted off again. Not knowing at that very moment she had started her journey to Neverland. The noises began once again, as if it were the mice making all that noise. Clara opened her eyes once again. The furniture in the house seemed to be much bigger now. The Christmas tree where she was sleeping turned into a gigantic tree. Clara was wide awake now. And right at that moment, she noticed that in fact nothing was actually growing, but instead she was shrinking. And just then she noticed the Mouse King and his army were heading her way. She was very scared and wanted to run away, but the giant mice managed to stop her. They began to surround her and slowly started to close in towards her. At that point, the nutcracker had also come alive. Why are you standing there, Clara? We can't climb up that tree and get away. Clara and the nutcracker managed to climb the tree and from there jumped up to the upper floor. Are we going to run away to? This is your home. You must know somewhere where the mice can't find you. I'm going to call for help. As Clara was running, 
Nutcracker was nowhere to be seen. The mice had scattered all around the house. They were looking for Clara. The Nutcracker had approached a toy store. He saw that there were many tin soldiers sitting in the window. He grabbed a rock and broke the window. Hey, what are you guys doing just standing there? Run! My friend Clara is in trouble. Mouse King and his army are going to catch her. All of a sudden, the tin soldiers had all come alive. They all jumped out of the broken window and followed the Nutcracker. Once the Nutcracker arrived back at the house, it looked like a war scene. The mice had turned the place upside down. The Nutcracker and his soldiers pulled out their swords and began to fight Mouse King and his army. Unfortunately, there were more mice than the tin soldiers. Most of the tin soldiers were wounded. The Nutcracker was in bad shape himself. He was wounded in several areas. Clara got out of where she was hiding. She knew she had to do something. But as small as she was, she knew that this was impossible. Mouse King approached the Nutcracker and drew his sword towards his face. With great panic, Clara yelled and threw her shoe at the Mouse King. Ew! There you dirty mouse! The shoe flew and it hit Mouse King's head. Unconsciously, the Mouse King dropped to the ground. Seeing their king drop to the ground, the mice accepted the fact that they had lost. And so they carried their king out of the living room and left. Clara ran to the Nutcracker. He was unconsciously laying on the floor. Clara kneeled down to the Nutcracker and began to cry. <laughs> Nutcracker, wake up! Suddenly, a fairy appeared behind Clara. With her blue outfit, wings and her lollipop wand, she was an extremely sweet fairy. The fairy couldn't stand the sight of Clara's tears and so she used her magic. And right at that moment, the Nutcracker transformed into a handsome prince. <gasps> With amazement and happiness, Clara found herself looking at the prince. The handsome prince reached out his hands and they began to dance. This was a magical dance. Clara noticed that at that point she began to float in the air. And again, Amongst the fairy dust appeared the candy fairy. This time round, there were other fairies amongst her. The fairies flew Clara and Prince Nutcracker to Candyland. Trees made out of candy, jelly bean flowers, pink butterflies, golden coloured toffee apples. It was such an enchanting place. Clara began to tell her story and all that had happened. I know everything that's happened. Don't worry, Clara. You are safe with us. Soon later, a peaceful sound of a flute surrounded the atmosphere. And so fairies and colourful flowers began to dance. Short while later, the Nutcracker and Clara joined the dance. All around you could see dancing colourful trees, lollipops and candy. Clara and the Nutcracker Prince suddenly realised that they were on stage. After the unique sound of the flute had ended, Clara looked around. She was on stage. The audience in front of her was applauding. Clara bowed to the audience. With happiness, she closed her eyes. Clara? Clara? Right at that moment, with the sound of her mother's voice, she opened her eyes. She rubbed her eyes and looked around. Later noticed the Nutcracker toy was on her lap. With great confusion, her mother was staring at her. Little did she know 
Clara was also lost in confusion. Darling, did you sleep here all night? Mother, I... I... But everything seems so real! With the happy thought of returning back to her dream, Clara closed her eyes.